Hello everybody, how's it going? So, today we've got a really interesting lesson. This is actually a new type of lesson. I've never done a lesson like this before. Um, so, what you can see for our learning targets, you're going to create a drawing that solves a problem. So we're actually going to be thinking like scientists today, like engineers and scientists, merging science with art. And you're going to solve that problem uh, making a drawing with things that are around your house. That's probably a little confusing, but I will explain it to you. So I'm going to show you what our problem is, and you're going to design a machine or something like that to help solve the problem. All right? So science is all about problem solving um, or figuring things out about the world around you. If you look up, um, this is how I aim my camera down to show you my drawings. Look at this. It's kind of silly, but I have, it's kind of hard to see, but I have stools on my table, and then I have this thing that we made just with some tape and all the kinds of things for me to put my camera right here, and I clip it on and it aims down. Now, you know if you watch my videos, I'm always struggling with this. <laughs> But I'm always coming up with new improvements and things. That's what, you know, that's what engineering is all about, is figuring out ways to make things work and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you a little imaginary scenario. So we're using our imagination here. Let's, let's everybody get into the imaginative spirit with me, OK? So you're, let's say you're exploring a new planet with all different kinds of life. And you need an energy crystal to power your spaceship, okay? You see the faint pink glow of an energy crystal. Okay? You see that glow. Except, where is the crystal? It's deep, deep down in a giant hole, okay? And on this hole, it's covered in long teeth going down, down into the hole. Interesting. There's a strange, sweet smell coming from this hole. And it's covered in teeth all the way down. You would have to, it's farther than you can reach with your hand to get to that sweet, sweet energy crystal, which you can see is about 10 feet down in the hole. Okay? As you're looking at it, you see a little fly, a space fly, let's say, buzzing by. And it flies down into the hole, attracted to the scent. And you know what happens? A little tongue comes out and eats the fly and chews it up in the teeth. Okay? So, based on what you just experienced, this thing has an interesting scent. The fly just went by, and it somehow ate the fly. Okay, so that's what you just observed. So you're probably putting some things together about what this is. Maybe it's an animal, right? Because it just ate something. Maybe it's a plant. I don't know. But we've, we've seen some observations. So we want to get that energy crystal out of the hole, right? And you, as a scientist and engineer, by observing and building and problem solving, are going to design a way to get that energy crystal out of the hole so you can power your spaceship. Now here's the catch. You have to design a machine that uses the things that are in your house or wherever you are Okay? You don't have to actually build the machine, you're going to draw it. Or even if it's not a machine, whatever it is, it's going to help you get this energy crystal out of the hole. Alright? This is going to take some real serious creative thinking, thinking outside the box. And I'm going to do one here, but it's going to be totally different than yours, because I have different objects. Okay? Um, so... Um, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw mine. But here's what I want you to do, okay? I want you to pause the video. And I want you to come up with some ideas on your own. Because I don't want you to just see mine and then copy mine. I want you to think creatively. So this is where you can pause the video. 
unless you are super, super confused. Then you can watch a little bit of what I'm doing to get an idea. But I would highly encourage you to just try to figure it out on your own. So looking around you, what do you have around you that you could use to build something to get this energy crystal out of the hole? Okay, pause your video now. Start making a design. Okay, if you're watching now, you're either very confused and need a little guidance, or you've designed something crazy and you want to see what Mr. Mangoni's going to make. Okay, so let's do it. Um, I am sitting in my art room, and I have a lot of interesting, useful things down here. And I will be honest with you, I have not planned this out at all. I have no idea how I'm going to get this thing out of the hole. So I'm going to take you down the process with me. I'm going to need some way to reach down the hole, and I don't want to get close to it. So what I'm going to start with is two uh, meter sticks. These are like, you know, the really long rulers. Sorry if my screen's flashing. It's just a webcam that we have here. I know it's not great, but we'll deal with it. Two meter sticks, um, but I need to stick them together somehow. So I will use some of the duct tape that I have, and I'm going to draw the duct tape there. That should be strong enough to hold it. I will add something else if I need if I need some more support. I might have to reinforce it. I'm going to color this gray because you know details. We want to show that it's duct tape. Okay. So I'm doing kind of a fishing pole-like situation. Now, how am I going to grab that thing out of there? That's a really interesting question that I do not have an answer to. Let's take it one step at a time. I'm going to want a string. I wonder if I have anything that could be used for loops. Ah, uh, yes, I can use tape rolls. I have these tape rolls that I can put on here. And I'll just go ahead and use the same duct tape to tape them down they're going to be taped on by duct tape so you can see how this is going to guide my string right and I'll have one more on the end because I have a bunch of tape rolls sitting around and I'm going to have just I'll use this orange for a, a yarn I'll use some yarn but you know what yarn this is the kind of things you want to think about is yarn going to be strong enough for that I don't know so what I'm going to do is I'm going to braid the yarn a couple times so that it is like, you know, a three or four times strength yarn just by braiding it. There we go. And I'll give myself a neat little handle at the end that I can pull on. Now we're working on something. Now we're getting somewhere. Now I have to think about how am I going to grab that crystal down there. This is the toughest part of this, and I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see. I'm looking around for some ideas. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking of some kind of hook scenario or net kind of scenario. Um, <laughs> Problem solving. So what my brain is doing right now, I have this problem ahead of me, and I'm like, wow, that's really tough. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's what this is all about. Okay, what you're doing when your brain is doing that, you're thinking really hard, and you are activating your creative problem solving. And I know at first it seems like, oh, it's so tough. What the heck? But this is, this is good for you. Even if you can't come up with something, the fact that you try is really good for you. So I'm going to just keep looking around. Like, if you need to get up and walk around your house, that's fine. <laughs> I wonder if I could design some kind of claw machine type scenario. So, like, if I had, say, some pairs of scissors to use for the hands, right? Here's the scissors. I would need three of them. To act as a claw, but how would I get that to open and close? Okay, let's see. Okay, so I got three pairs of scissors and I put a rubber band around them 
to hold them together at the bottom, right? Um, and then, here's what I can do. I can, I can have a rope that goes through the top of them, and that's attached to a rope going up this way. So what's going to happen is, if I pull on this rope, I'll draw down here what will happen. It's going to pull the top of the scissors all together because it's going to squeeze them together. And guess what's going to happen? The bottom's going to open up. Okay, and that's pulling the rubber band open, right? You see that? I pulled on this part. So if I pull up on this rope, it brings the top in. You see that? It squeezes the top in, and this opens up. But it wants to close because it's got a rubber band. I'm going to lower that down around the crystal. Here's our crystal. All right? And when I let go of that rope, it's going to close again. But I'm wondering... I'm wondering if just the flat bottom of the scissors is going to be enough to grip it. I might need to add a little extra something on there to help grip onto the crystal. So what am I going to add? I know what I'll add. I'll take some tape and I'll put the tape sticky side out on the bottom of those so they'll have some gripping power. Okay, so here is my scissors device I've got. And this is kind of a crazy design. But you've got to think like this. I've got my three pairs of scissors with a rope tied around the top. I'll use blue for that rope. Now we're getting complex. We've got two different ropes. The blue rope here. Okay, the orange rope is going to lower it. The blue rope, which I'm keeping a little separate here. The blue rope I pull on to open and close the scissors. Okay. All right. So, that's my design. And to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure this would actually work in real life, okay? Because this is like, um, this is just an idea. This is where your inventions start. Okay, this is my idea. I would have to actually build that to test it. You test it out and then you would see what goes wrong and then you go back to the drawing board and fix things, okay? But what we're doing is you just go ahead and try to figure out some kind of invention, get that crystal out of that hole without getting eaten by this, okay? So hopefully this gets you thinking. And, and, and if it's too hard, if you don't end up coming up with something, that's okay. I, just, I want you to try. I want you to think outside the box and just get that problem-solving part of your brain going, okay? And then end up with a cool, interesting drawing because of it. All right. So, I hope you enjoyed that lesson, and I really w would like you to send me some pictures of this one, okay? This is one that I have no idea how this is going to go. This is a new thing for me, merging this art and science together. So, I want to see what you come up with. I want to see if you come up with something completely different than mine, or if it looks like mine, but it's a little different. I want to know how you get that crystal out of that hole, okay? So, have fun. And keep on thinking, scientists. This is a big reason why we do art is to get your creative problem solving skills going okay so this is good for you have fun everybody bye bye